the Adidas Lexicon uh, Tactical ADV snowboard boots. Um, I've been able to ride these boots the last few months. I initially picked them up at the Circle here in Whistler. And uh, yeah, for me, like these boots have been an absolute game changer. So I wanted to talk to you guys about these specifically, but also just snowboard boots in general, what I think make an amazing pair of boots, um, what to look for, what to avoid, and yeah, just break down like why these boots are so special. So like for myself, um, I've probably owned 20 plus pairs of snowboard boots in my snowboard career. And the first like the first 15 years, it was pretty much just a gamble. When I would buy a pair of boots, I would try them on. I would hope that they'd be comfortable, that they'd be the boots I wanted. And it was kind of like a 50-50 toss up, to be honest. Like sometimes I love the boots and they're comfortable and they were great. And other times they would be you know, uh, painful on my feet, they wouldn't be what I wanted, and I would end up having to just buy new boots, basically. So the, the pair of boots I had before this were Adidas as well, uh, the Adidas Sambas. Uh, they're awesome, comfortable, great performance. And the pair I had before that were, were the Vans um, High Standard uh, Pros, and they were also very comfortable. So um, the, the way I came across um, Adidas and Vans boots was actually just by asking friends of mine, like um, just asking lots of people, what were their favorite boots? What were the most comfortable? What, was, what had the best performance? At first, um, actually going way back, people used to love Nike snowboard boots. That was like a huge thing. Everyone wore, like everyone had Nikes. People that had Nike boot, boots, um, absolutely loved them and, and like stocked up because uh, Nike stopped making snowboard boots. So uh, the people that had them and liked them stocked up. Um, then I started hearing great things about Vans snowboard boots. That's why I tried it Vans and loved them, the high standard pros, traditional laces. Um, and then I noticed a lot of my friends were wearing Adidas. So I started out with the Sambas, loved the Sambas, and then went into the Circle in Worcester a few months ago and uh, picked up these ones the Lexicon Tactical ADV. And I don't think it's a coincidence that Nike, Vans, and Adidas are like the, the three biggest like raved, I think, snowboard boots. Um, they're all shoe companies. They, that's like what they do, their background. And I think like um, that, that knowledge and the skills that go into shoes and other sorts of um, um, footwear have, have transferred into snowboard boots. And these ones I feel are like the most special. That's why I titled this video, The Game Changer, because there's definitely something special about these boots that make them amazing. Um, so just my personal experience with these boots, just wearing them the last couple months, I've been wearing them on powder days, on park days, and I've actually been wearing them days too, where I've you know, showed up to the mountain an hour or two early, been standing around for, for an hour or two in these boots, snowboarded with them on all day, and then afterwards we'll like go grocery shopping or go out for dinner, and I'll have these boots on the entire time and without any foot pain at all. So um, I've been loving that and these boots that, you know, I, I don't even think about that I'm wearing them. I'm just wearing them all day long, standing around, snowboarding, on the chairlift, um, afterwards going grocery shopping, and uh, yeah, these boots like are awesome for that. So um, no foot pain, very comfortable and very simple too. So uh, for me, it's like when I tie these boots up in the morning, so they have traditional laces. So I do them up in the morning and they stay tight all day long. And I, I know that they stay tight because they actually have, there's, there's kind of like um, right in the center of the boot where you get it really tight it actually holds and locks. So at the end of the day, when I'm taking these boots off, I really have to go back into that section to like loosen them up. So the traditional laces stay tight. Um, they also have uh, on the toe of the boot is like a really just nice uh, rubber protective area, which uh, keeps your foot dry. But also, as you guys can see, I've been wearing these for a couple months and just protects the boot from your binding or from kicking anything. So really well designed, like toe area of the boot, just uh, staying intact and staying for helping your uh, foot stay dry. On the back, it has, uh, it's got some grip right here in the back. It's almost like, feels like a rubber grip so that it, this is touching the high back of your, of your binding and holding on. 
Um, on the inside, so I've actually taken apart one of the boots. So I've got, yeah, the, uh, the liner is, uh, it comes with like their gold level liner. Sounds pretty fancy. Um, I don't know if gold stands for like a, some fancy anniversary, but <laughs> uh, just the, the gold liner, it just feels good. It's comfortable. I know it's made of a lot of like fancy foams. And yeah, you, you just feel like when you have your foot and ankle in the liner, it's, uh, it's hugging your foot and ankle. And you can feel there's a little like a uh, bit of a heel pocket here to help keep your heel locked in. I don't have any heel lift and it's just very simple, but uh, comfortable. So very comfortable uh, liner there. And yeah, to be honest, like the, the boot itself is pretty straightforward and simple. This is the, the boot without the liner. It's got the, uh, the inner um, strings for tightening up and uh, pretty, pretty basic. But the one thing that definitely stands out the most is the Boost like midsole. So this Boost midsole, um, I don't know if you guys have like Adidas shoes or Adidas boots. So I've actually got um, a pair of Adidas just running shoes with the Boost uh, that I bought last summer and also Adidas uh, hiking boots as well with the, uh, with the Boost insole or midsole as well. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever had like shoes or boots with, with the, uh, the boost, but it basically, it's like having, um, not like a, a cloud under your feet, uh, under your foot, but it has a softness like a cloud, but it also gives a lot of like energy back. So every time you take a step, you almost feel like it's like giving back almost the same amount of energy you're putting down. So as you're walking in the shoes or in the snowboard boots, you feel like the boost uh, midsole actually kind of giving you some spring back. So uh, comfort wise for what, where it translates into snowboarding is if you're landing a jump or when you're riding and you're hitting some bumps, all of this uh, soft, um, I guess it's like a, it's kind of a, a material they've created in a lab, but this like soft boost, um, material is like absorbing all that chatter and really keeping your feet comfortable. Um, you'd notice it, I definitely notice it just walking around. It feels like you have a little bit of a bounce in your step uh, because of the, the boost midsole. So that's pretty amazing. And uh, below it, there's some really good grip too. So for me, I'm doing <clears throat> lots of hikes, snowboarding, and it's important to have some, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me guys, some good grip as you walk as well. So it's got the grip, it's got the boost midsole and yeah, just overall traditional laces. So like for me, I, you know, I, I want to use my channel to promote things that I love that I think makes snowboarding better. And uh, foot pain is probably one of the biggest things in snowboarding. Probably the biggest problem that keeps people out of snowboarding is the foot, the foot pain related. So for me, a, a boot like this, I think it's a game changer for snowboarding. It just, uh, they're just doing it right. Like um, when you compare to, compare Adidas boots to some of the other brands, the, I think there's nothing that you can just like see um, just to say like, oh, well that boot's better than this one. But once you have the experience, and this is my second Adidas boot and they've both been awesome. And my friends that ride Adidas also love them. So yeah, I just wanna promote stuff that I think will get more people snowboarding. So, you know, this one is a bit more expensive. I think this is one of the most expensive boots they make, um, but they also have other models. And I'm sure that, that the, uh, the Adidas Samba is a model that's a bit less expensive that, is, uh, that I also love. And uh, yeah, so that is um, the boot. And what else can I say? I think, yeah, I think it's a game changer. Shout out to uh, the, the guys at The Circle. They kind of, um, yeah, on the spot, got me into one of these boots. And yeah, I've been loving it ever since. So there's, uh, if you guys want to check out the Adidas Lexicon Tactical ADV boot uh, further, I've put a couple links below. There's a link to where you can check it out at the Circle um, on their website, um, but there's also uh, a link to the American site as well where you can uh, check out these boots. But uh, yeah, this is a live chat as well. So if you guys have any questions, about these boots, uh, hit me up in the chat and I will uh, answer any of your questions. I think, I've, I think I've covered it all. And if you guys haven't ridden Adidas boots, but if you have like Adidas uh, shoes too, it'd be great to hear some of your opinions. So let's get into some of the questions. 
Uh, Oompa, Loompa, <laughs> Oompa Loompia says, agreed, my last pair of boots were too small. Because of that, it gave my left foot permanent nerve damage. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, for me, like size wise, um, I just go for the same size snowboard boot as I do for my shoe. So I know like uh, there was like two years where I just kind of basically like left my purchase decision up to the like the people at the stores. So I, like I'd go into a snowboard shop and I would say, you know, size me up, get me the get me the perfect boot for my foot. And, uh, you know, I'll go with that. And like those two years, I had the worst boots, had the most foot pain. And it wasn't until like I just went with what I thought was common sense going with um, the snowboard boot, the same as my shoe size, and also just talking to friends that had good experiences. So uh, maybe next time, yeah, definitely just go for uh, go for the right size. Um, Brinkman wants to know, do they come in any other colorways? Uh, yeah, they do. So yeah, this one is kind of their, uh, I guess it's kind of a 90s sort of Adidas shoe look, but they also have like a black and gray colorway as well, which is which is pretty cool. I was actually thinking of calling uh, the circle and and seeing if they could put a pair on hold for me because like I'm snowboarding so many days, uh, these will probably last me most of the season, but towards the end of the season, I'll probably have to get into another pair. Um, but yeah, like I actually want to pick up a second pair before uh, before they're all gone. So uh, I've been checking out the other colorway as well. Travis saying, yeah, you guys buy new boots every year. Uh, yeah, definitely, because I'm snowboarding four or five days a week. Um, and yeah, after, I think I go through two pairs of snowboard boots a year uh, because I also ride all summer as well. Uh, Avery saying, are Adidas or Vans better? Um, for me, for me, like I'm leaning towards Adidas, especially because of the, the boost midsole, I think. I think the boost is is the way to go. But I also had a really good experience on the Vans High Standard Pro boots as well. So between those two, I feel like you can't go wrong. Um, the Vans were the Vans were awesome. Uh, but for me, I'm I'm definitely leaning towards Adidas. Uh, Logan wants to know again, what's the liner called? Um, yeah, so the the liner is their gold level liner. So I'm sure what separates this liner from some other liners that they have is the quality of the foam um, that the liner is made of. So, and it's also kind of, yeah, got some, it probably has some like antibacterial stuff going on in there, but a uh, very simple liner. I feel, feel like all snowboard boot liners are, simp are very simply made, uh, depending on, yeah, the level would, would probably be the quality of the materials. Uh, Shiv says, do you use custom insoles in your boots? Um, no, I haven't. I used to when I had some uh, foot pain. Um, I would do some, um, I, would, I had a pair of uh, liners. Shout out to um, um, Snow Guru Joe. I'm pretty sure that's his YouTube channel, uh, who, who built a liner for me. And uh, I, I used that insole for a while, uh, but when I got some boots that actually were comfortable, then I didn't, I didn't continue with the, uh, the insole. Um, Jun Junito says, what is the best way to take off your boots? So yeah, I don't know. You just have to, well, the, the trick, I think, yeah, snowboard boots, because you want them so tight and secure while you're snowboarding for when it's time to like take them off, it can be like a pain because everything is, is so tight, like tightened down so much. So you just got to go through the layers of loosening everything off. So loosening off everything on the outside and then loosening everything on the inside too. I think that's where people or even myself sometimes forget, like I won't fully loosen like the inner liner before taking it off. So make sure you get all the laces loosened and then the inner liner as well. Uh, all right, Gabe. Thanks for tuning in, Gabe. Uh, Ryan says, is it only laces or are there boas? Um, yeah, so Adidas also has a few uh, models of boot that have the boa system as well. Uh, for me, like, I love the traditional laces. They're just like the most, in my opinion, opinion, they're the most comfortable. 
and you can customize like the tightness the most as well. Um, and they stay like the most tight. I think with boas, a couple of the issues I've had is that as you tighten the boas, they actually get really tight in certain spots of the boot and stay loose in others. And boas also start to loosen throughout the day um, as well. Um, and then if the boas break, you have like a big kind of problem on your hands. Whereas if the traditional laces break, you can just buy a pair of snowboard laces in pretty much any shop and uh, they're cheap to replace. So I would recommend the traditional laces, but I think Adidas do have a boa as well. Charlie wants to know if I've tried ride boots. Um, I have not, haven't tried those out. Uh, Wyatt wants to know what boots for beginners. Um, well, like, you know, with these boots, the Sambas, I think across all, um, across all boot brands, um, they're all good for beginners. I, I would say for a beginner snowboarder, you definitely want to check out a snowboard boot on the softer side. Uh, just because the stiffer boots get, the more aggressive they are, the more like they transfer your energy into your board. And I think when you're a beginner, you, you don't want all that like aggressiveness. You kind of just want like a soft or like maybe a mid flexing boot. And you also want to stay in like a uh, find an inexpensive boot when you're a beginner too. So I would recommend checking out like the entry level boots for on Adidas or maybe on Vans and uh, start there. But even with these boots, I'd, I'd recommend these boots for, for anyone. Um, they are a bit more pricey for a beginner. So if you're not, if you don't know if you're ready to fully commit to, uh, to going all out in snowboard equipment, they may not be the right ones for you. Uh, but yeah, maybe check out some of the more inexpensive boots. And Travis wants to know, do you prefer uh, stiff boots? Um, no, I prefer like a mid flex boot. So something that's right in between. So these boots, they say, I think they, they say they're like a six or seven on the stiffness scale, but I would say they're more like a five. Um, and yeah, like I think that makes it more versatile. So you can take um, a mid flex boot into the park or you can take it into powder. You can pretty much do anything with a more mid flexing boot. Um, when it gets really, like when a boot gets really stiff, that's when it's good for carving or racing or just like really like maybe high-end snowboard athletes. Um, and then if the boot is too soft, um, that's when, you know, soft boots can be okay if you're just kind of taking it easy and you're, and you're a casual rider. But if they get too soft, then you don't have that like ankle support either. So um, you, you need some stiffness to support your ankles and to also like transfer your movements into your board. Um, yeah, really great questions too. Uh, Ryan wants to know, are you sponsored by Adidas? Uh, no, I'm not sponsored by Adidas. Um, yeah, like uh, with my gear and with everything I like tell you guys about gear, it's just like me trying to uh, pass on just what I'm finding out from, from snowboard gear. And uh, yeah, that's why like I'm raving about these boots because I think they're they're awesome. I feel like if anyone out there is suffering from foot pain, like what I did is I, I just tried these on in the store. I had them on my feet for like a half an hour, 40 minutes uh, in the circle in Whistler, just hanging out, um, talking to the guys in there. And yeah, it was just like paying attention to my feet, seeing whether or not there's any like weird pressure points that were giving me foot pain. And yeah, after after some time, they were just feeling awesome. So yeah, I'd recommend uh, recommend for people to do that just to get more people involved in snowboarding and doing it in a way where they're not yeah having issues like foot pain or um, anything that would, would cause you to do it less. So trying to fix any of those problems. Um, Creation Therapy says, uh, is there an advantage to get custom footbeds if you have an ankle where, uh, ankle wear and tear, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, custom footbeds I think are good if you have maybe some abnormal feet. So if you have like uh, fallen arches or a high arch, anything like that, anywhere, anything where, like I'm not a foot expert, but I think it's like if you have in your regular shoe some kind of um, um, custom uh, insole, then maybe you would need the same thing for a snowboard boot. But if in your regular day, if you're just uh, buying shoes and boots and, and, and going about your business, then you're probably, you're probably good for snowboard boots as well.
<laughs> Dan saying, better buy more. Adidas is done with snowboarding after this year. Dan, don't tell me that. I feel like, uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I guess we'll find out. All right, so just trying to find the snowboard questions. We got tons of questions on here. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll answer a few questions on other topics too, but let's check out some, some more boot questions. Zach says, hey man, are you using the same boots for res resort riding as you do when you are split boarding? Um, yeah, I do. So yeah, for split boarding, it's like, uh, so this, this, this boot is the, is the one I wear when I'm riding powder. And so split boarding is the same thing. If I'm gonna be doing a split board trip, I'll use the same boot. And then I have that same feeling for when I'm riding powder. I feel like for split boarding, you definitely want to find boots that are comfortable too, because if you're gonna be walking in the boots or like splitting up the mountain a long time in snowboard boots, you wanna find boots that are like gonna be comfortable. Cause if you have foot pain while doing a split board mission, then, uh, then that's no fun. Uh, Scott says, can you make boots a bit longer or do the toes pack out? Because I got some Burton boots and they are just a tad small and I'm kind of worried. Um, I think if they're just a tad small, then yeah, usually uh, snowboard boots will pack out a little bit. So if you have like any toes that are touching or maybe feeling like a bit of pressure, then those boots should pack out. If after a few times of snowboarding, you feel like they haven't packed out, what you can do is take them to a snowboard shop and get them heat molded and uh, and they can actually, they have some tools at some of the shops too that, to help uh, pack them out as well. So yeah, give them a try. And if they, don't, if they don't pack out, if they're not feeling comfortable after a day or two riding, then maybe take them into a shop to see if they can either heat mold them for you or uh, use some kind of tool to, uh, to pack them out. Uh, Creations ther Therapy saying, can you usually return boots after a few rides if they're not the right fit? Um, no, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think so. Mm. I think if you like ride them, it's kind of like, uh, it's like buying shoes. Once you wear them, then you've, then you've, then you own them. Um... Ashkey says, my boots hurt my feet when I put them on. Uh, do you know anything that can help my feet? Um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. That's, yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, foot pain and snowboarding. But what you can do is try taking them to the snowboard shop. You bought them, see if they can heat mold them. Uh, maybe you, you need to pick up a, an insole. Um, but yeah, you can, you can try a few things. If none of that works, you may just have to, to go with a different, a different snowboard boot. Um, I've had issues with snowboard boots in the past where I'll be just having foot pain nonstop while I'm riding, while I'm just standing them in them. And I've taken them into snowboard shops before and they've, you know, they've kind of done everything to, to make them more comfortable or, or to get rid of pressure points. And, uh, sometimes nothing works and you just have to, you just have to buy buy new ones, unfortunately. Uh, Graham wants to know, have you ever tried liner linerless Vans boots? Um, I have not, but that's uh, yeah, that's an interesting that's an inter interesting thing. I feel like the good thing about liners and the ability to take a liner out is that if it's like the spring and you're riding um, in some slushy conditions and your boots do get, get wet, it's nice to be able to take the liners out to uh, put them like near, near some place like uh, a heater to dry them out. Um, so that's like the one big advantage I think to having a, to having a liner is to being able to take them out to get them dry. Uh, Avery says, do all boots have liners? I think like 95% of boots do have liners. Uh, but yeah, so there's a few models, kind of like base uh, level models that that are that don't have a liner.
Uh, Stephen Kim, Stephen Kim says, should I size down for Adidas boots? Um, no, like in my experience, I didn't size down. So for, yes, for my shoes, I'm a size 10 and my snowboard boots, I'm a size 10. So, uh, for me, it's like, uh, I'm not sacrificing any performance. They're comfortable. And I think, uh, I think it's all good. Uh, Shiv is saying, does the Velcro on the top uh, unstick easily with your Sambas? I find mine sometimes do. Uh, no. Yeah, so at the top, I'll show you guys. Yeah, there's this, uh, there's some Velcro. So once you get your foot in, you put it down. So for the liner, yeah, you have some Velcro right here. And I don't, I've never had any issues with this coming loose. So yeah, it should stick and it should hold because you want your, you want to have that like snug, you want this to be as snug to your ankle and your shin and your foot as possible. Um, and so yeah, being able to wrap this part around and really stick it on there with the uh, Velcro of his key. And the same thing, like um, recently uh, my wife Jill was shopping for snowboard boots and the one thing I did notice is that depending on the brand, you have different, um, it's amazing how different just from boot to boot is um, and not always in the best way. So uh, one thing that stands out about the Adidas is how like when you start to tie up the boots, the, the material is actually like wrapping around your ankle and like wrapping around like, yeah, the bottom of your leg. So that's really important. On some boots, I was noticing that the material doesn't always want to wrap. It's almost like coming apart and it's um, just, not a, just not good material for really getting that like snug fit for your, for your foot and for your ankle. So one thing I noticed about the Adidas is it really does wrap around your ankle really well. And the other thing I noticed is that not every snowboard lace is equal either. So um, my wife was trying on lots of different uh, brands of boots and some of the laces were actually like uh, really um, like coarse and hard material, which is, I don't know if you guys have ever had like round shoelaces that are thick and hard, but they don't like tighten up and they don't stay tight. So with the Adidas laces is they're like soft, almost like, uh, and they're kind of like elasticy as well. So they're, they don't hurt your fingers as you tighten and they stay tight. So that's like another, another issue. Another thing I've noticed, um, across different boots, you'll see like, you'll see odd things. Um, I've even had snowboard boots that weren't waterproof in the past and to have like, um, this like toe area that's like totally covered with some like durable sort of like rubber material at the toe. That's really key because snowboard boots generally, they take a lot of damage at the toe. So to have some like extra protection, protection right there, um, is really key. So, um, a few things to look out for if you're out there shopping for snowboard boots, all like the, uh, the, the design, how it all fits together and whether or not like it's going to make, it's going to make like your day of snowboarding, uh, better or, or worse. Uh, Dennis wants to know, did he say whether he prefers the lexicons or the Sambas? Um, yeah, good question, Dennis. So between the lexicons and the Sambas, uh, so I really like the Sambas. I feel like they were, they're a great boot. Uh, my foot was really comfortable, um, good performance. But the thing that stands out about the Lexicons is the boost sole. So like, I feel like with the boost sole, you get that combination of like comfort and the uh, responsiveness of the energy transfer. So yeah, when you're walking, you can really feel it. You feel that bit of bounce and it also feels um, comfortable. Um, and then one more thing too, it's like the, the boost sole is also like very light. So making the entire boot like light as well. Um, one thing, if you're out looking at snowboard boots, like the weight is, is super important. And yeah, these, these boots are, are very light. Um, and yeah, I think that's because of the boost sole. So between the Sambas and these, they're very similar, but the standout is, uh, the boost sole, I think. Um, takes takes the win for the lexicons. 
All right, let's do let's do one more question. Uh, Kyler is saying the Samas are only 260. Um, yeah, so it's probably mostly because of the different um, midsole and maybe the, the liner may be different as well. And Jared says he's riding the Adidas Tactical ADVs. Jared, what do you think, man? How, uh, how do you like them? And Shane wants to know, what are the best completely waterproof boots? Um, that's a tough one, Shane. Yeah, I don't know. I know that there are some boots that have almost like a uh, like zipper uh, cover in the front to cover up the laces. And that could be, that could be good for certain s situations like big backcountry trips. But the biggest thing with uh, your feet getting wet, it, sound, it may sound kind of gross, but it's actually from like just your own sweat. So like... You do want to have um, the boots as waterproof as possible, but then you also want your feet to kind of be able to breathe. And uh, it's hard to get that combination. So I don't think any boot is totally 100% waterproof, um, but as long as like up to the laces you're good, then um, I haven't had too many problems. And yeah, you do want, you do want to have some ventilation as well. Uh, Travis saying, I think we're at a, I think we're at a boot questions. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, awesome guys. Thanks for coming to hang out and listen to me talk about, uh, the snowboard boots. I honestly, I love these boots. I think, I think they are a game changer. Um, and I think, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, uh, more boots are made like this one. Um, it's just simple, great, uh, midsole, great, just, uh, basic, uh, setup. And I think it's, uh, it's pretty, I'm pretty stoked on it and just wanted to talk to you guys about it. Um, if you guys have any video requests, um, maybe let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Awesome. Sweet. Thanks for coming to hang out, guys. Um, hope you're having a good time out there snowboarding and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one soon. Awesome. Later, guys.